Y'all turn to Psalm 23 today as we continue in this Advent season. Good morning, Kasha. Good to see you. Uh, as we continue forward in Advent, uh, we've talked about waiting. A lot of, really, that's um, maybe the, the base of this Advent uh, series we're going through is that we're waiting on the Lord. But we know that God is working in the waiting. And He's not, he's not distracted. He's not delayed. He's not uh, hindered in any way, even though we might be waiting for the, the, um, his response. We might be re- waiting for his return, waiting for his fulfillment, waiting for healing, waiting for whatever it is we most desperately need in our lives. We've seen uh, that in the midst of struggle, we're encouraged to be still, to wait on the Lord, to look uh, at him when things are most difficult. And we're going to kind of continue uh, uh, in, in that vein today in Psalm 23. I'm going to read the whole psalm, but we're going to focus on just uh, one verse. So read with me, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He renews my life. He leads me along the paths for his name's sake. Even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. And only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I live. Of course, a familiar psalm for this Christmas season. But I want us to focus on verse 4 today. Even when I go through the darkest valley... I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Maybe you're familiar with the pastoral language, the shepherding language that we find here. Uh, the rod and the staff, we, we often think of them as disciplinary tools for the shepherd to keep the sheep in line. Uh, but they're also a tool of comfort. You see the shepherd taking care of sheep that don't really see all that well. Uh, they actually have good eyesight, but... The placement of their eyes on their heads uh, limits their view. And then you take maybe a dark night or uh, a a foggy morning as we had today, and sheep, are these defenseless animals, could could be terrified, and they would be afraid. And if they got afraid enough, they they might flee and run away. But the shepherd would use his rod and his staff to simply touch them, to give them comfort. Comfort in a difficult situation. But what I want us to focus, of course we know, you know, Jesus Christ is our comfort in difficulty. But what I want us to see here is not just that we have a comforter in our Savior, but we have the same Savior, whether we're walking through the green pastures, whether we're sitting beside quiet waters, whether our cup is overflowing, or whether we're walking through the darkest valleys. You see, God's goodness, God's care, God's provision, God's love, God's God's working is no different whether we're in the green pastures or the darkest, deepest valleys. For many of us, we're walking right now through dark valleys. Maybe it's not the darkest valley you've been in. Maybe it's a small one. Maybe it's a quick one. But maybe you're stuck in a dark valley that you've been in for a very, very long time. God is God in the green pastures and the dark valleys. God is the God of comfort. Whether our cup is overflowing or we're at the end of our rope. Even when I go through the darkest valley, I feel no da- fear no danger because you are with me. As we look forward to celebrating the birth of Christ, the birth of a Savior, remember, God is with you. Whether it's a green pasture or a dark valley, whether you can see him or not, whether you're confident or at the edge of giving up. God is with you, and God is all-powerful and ready to comfort you, to protect you, 
and to keep you. Father, we thank you for this day. What an awesome privilege to know that whether we're walking in green pastures, sitting beside quiet waters, enjoying a table in the presence of our enemies, or we're walking through the darkest, deepest valley, you are with us. You are our comfort. You are God. You are our Savior. Let us never forget. Let us never lose sight. No matter what circumstances are around us, let us have confidence and peace only in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, what a blessing to be with you today. Uh, it's always a privilege and a pleasure. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 11 o'clock right here once again. Have a blessed rest of the day. Bye.